morning, everyone. Um, so uh, today, uh, I'm going to invite you all to participate in an activity where, uh, as uh, Alex uh, was mentioning, uh, parenting, especially as free-thinking parents, is sometimes a challenge. And it'd be great if they're, well, I'm not sure how well parenting for dummies there is a book, Parenting for Dummies, which I found in the, the picture of. But it'd be great if there was a parenting for free-thinking dummies or free-thinking uh, uh, hyper-intelligent adults, as the case may be. Um, so, uh, to sort of work on that sort of stuff a bit. So I'm thinking about the, the special challenges that arise for free-thinking parents. So one of the email lists that I'm on has been having discussion about this uh, recently and questions about especially that arise if you have one free-thinker and one devout religious person uh, as a couple uh, raising kids, that probably raises special challenges and there's been lots of stuff <coughs> going back and forth in that email list suggesting good parenting advice in these sorts of cases. And that made me start thinking about uh, what my parents did as I was a child. I'm not a parent yet myself. Um, and uh, actually, I'd be curious to get a show of hands. My parents actually were free thinkers. How many other people in the audience here had uh, free thinking parents as well? So it's a Pretty small minority in here, but uh, but a good fraction of us still. Um, but so it seems like that's a different sort of thing. And I'm imagining the the cases where my parents, like uh, you, when I was in elementary school, there were other kids in the school who wanted to go to a Bible camp, and so uh, I asked my parents if I could go too. And so that is the tough choice. Well, do you let your kid? go to Bible camp if they want to go. And my parents ended up deciding, yes, he can go, but I imagine now they had their fingers crossed. Hopefully he won't get sucked in. Hopefully he won't get sucked in. So, I mean, in the end, I'm not sure whether that was the right decision to uh, let me go. I didn't get sucked in, so, so it all worked out okay. Um, but that's one of the tough decisions that uh, you end up making as any sort of parent, but probably especially as free-thinking parents, uh, where you want to let your kids choose things for themselves, but you also don't want to to get sucked in. So lots of tough decisions here. And I think that one probably my parents did pretty well on. Another one, I'm not so sure whether this was the right way. Uh, their approach to sex education was that they uh, bought Ann Lander's book, What Teens Ought to Know About Sex, or something like that. They set it out on the piano um, and, uh, <laughs> and they just left it there. And, uh, and you know, of course, when they went off to the store or something, I grabbed it and voraciously read it. And so it worked out, but it was a very sort of hands off approach to sex ed. <laughs> Not sure whether that's a parenting success or a parenting fail in that case. But, uh, um, so there's, there's a couple of stories about what my parents had done. Um, uh, I'm going to invite you with the index cards that you all have on the, the, the chair with your program um, to write a little story yourself about uh, something that your parents did or something that uh, other people you know did. Um, and uh, we're looking for a mix of uh, parenting successes, you're doing it right, um, and various uh, parenting fails. And so, uh, or maybe it's just something interesting that you know parents say, or your parents or other people have done, um, that you think people might enjoy hearing about. And uh, just to give you fair warning, we're going to gather up these index cards, and later in the program today, uh, some people are going to read off uh, some of the choice uh, uh, cards that, that people have written, and, and we can talk about uh, whether those were uh, pieces of uh, good parenting or bad parenting, and get some ideas and hopefully some lessons uh, out of doing that. Um, so while you're thinking about that, I'll, uh, I searched the internet. I enjoy lolcats, and so I searched for various uh, pictures of, um, it's fairly easy to find parenting fail pictures, so I'll give you a, a few of those. Um, so here's uh, one parenting <laughs> fail, uh, how not to power move your baby buggy along. Um, here's uh, another parenting fail, probably. Uh, 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 and uh, parenting <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, so there, those are a few parenting fails. I also searched for, you know, they make the law cats where they say doing whatever, you're actually doing it right. And strangely, it's hard to find those sorts of law cats for parents. Maybe it's hard to get a, a funny picture of people doing parenting right, so hopefully you'll come up with some phrases. Um, sort of in the middle, I have this one of uh, the, apparently this uh, kitten, or this uh, cat discovered that she has kittens, and what I do now? And so that's a question where we're all sort of, we'll be struggling with at some point if we're parents. And so, um, and so what I'd like you to do is take a few moments now to write some stuff, some examples of what parents have done. And maybe that'll help out uh, new parents in this cat situation figure out uh, how they ought to go about parenting. So 
I'll give you all a moment to write stuff down and then we'll gather up the cards um, and then we'll move on to the next part of the program. Um, if I, I just have one pen in my pocket and a pencil, so I have two extra implements and if uh, people can sort of share around their writing implements uh, that can help. Uh, anybody need these two? still writing and some people have been finished up writing so uh, in just another moment I'll have people uh, pass the cards into the middle. Could I get uh, somebody, I don't know, Tammy or Michael, one of y'all if you want to volunteer to uh, gather up the, the cards that uh, people have finished. Um, what I'll do is if you're still uh, trying to craft your words carefully, um, the next thing we're going to have on the program is the band playing a song. So with apologies to the band, might encourage people who are still working on writing to uh, finish up uh, writing uh, your cards and we'll gather up the stragglers after the band finishes their song. Um, but uh, whatever ones we can uh, get now. Okay. 